is that? He's got a point. No, oh, this is not going well. Did not see that one coming. Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today we are watching season nine, episode three of The Flash. And in the last episode, we kind of found out what happened to Caitlyn and Frost. And Caitlyn's now dead. Uh, Frost is now... No, sorry. Caitlyn's dead, Frost is gone, and what's and who's left behind is another person altogether who has dubbed herself Keon so I'm not really sure if she's good or bad where she fits into all this yet we also got the Pied Piper back his um he was attacked by one of Red Death's minions so they could get his gauntlets and he was able to they were able to do that but they were able to save Pied Piper's boyfriend in the process along with workers so you know it ended well but they still don't know why the gauntlets were needed or what for and We'll, hopefully we'll figure that out uh, or hopefully they'll figure that out but we found out that all that was to help the uh, red death from it. <sighs> trying to think of how to say this but red death seemed to be in like a vibrating state constant vibrating state so that's what the everything did was get Red Death out of that vibrating state and they're now after revenge for something that Barry's done. We just don't know what that is yet so can't wait to figure out what happened until we find out who Red Death is and what they want and why they want to go after Barry. So hopefully we'll find out that soon if not It'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. So before we get into the episode, if you're enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. If you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction, please comment down below. Please keep it spoiler free and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. Hey, well done. But I do oh, like scary. that. Oh, where's her, uh, where's her getaway? Murphy, it's still there. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy this. Eh. That. Ooh! Who is that? Thank you, Mark. Who is that? Et c'est là le but des chaussures. Ooh. Je vous ai donné ma recette. Hmm? Oh look, there's Barry and Iris. Are they uh, taking a French bon? cooking? Ah. Bon? Allons-y. Oh mon dieu. Oh. <laughs> Merci, chère femme. Tu les mérites très bien dans votre superbe recette. Mm. Oh, wow. They did well. At this rate, we are definitely going to finish the list before we're pregnant. Great. Oh, she sounds so thrilled about that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. <laughs> no, very so cute. These plants are great. Allegra? Oh, she's avoiding Chester! Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. Uh, I'm on the way out. So. Oh, really? Because, <laughs> um. Uh... That is a lovely name. Sure. Um, uh, later. Right what now, is have science to do? I'm oh, yeah. confused. I'll be around. Somewhere. Avoiding. Really, Allegra? My name is Kesha. Are you two not friends anymore? Oh, no. 
definitely still friends. Yeah, no. But at least I, um, I hope so. You're crossing that line between more than friends. Kesha. And now he has two players. Kesha. Okay, then. That uses kinetic energy to open quantum wormholes in space and time, which is a lot of power in the wrong hands. Yeah. I yeah. That's it. Just one paradox could permanently alter the fabric of space time. Great. Yeah. Wasn't great before. But I know someone might. Oh. Oh. So you oh, look, he's back. Maybe the Flash could contact the DOD and see if they could move it to Star Labs for safekeeping. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know this guy. Yeah. The team Flash has some rough encounters with him in the past. He's not gonna listen to us. Yeah, something so, like that. <laughs> also, it's something to do with the gorilla. We just have to steal it first. Our team does to steal this engine. So how about we put together a little team of rogues of our own? Them to the punch. I mean, he's got a point. He's got a point. Uh, but one of the other things that I forgot was that uh, Mark was not happy that they decided not to bring back Frost. And yeah, he's kind of alienating himself from the group, which is probably not going to work well. Or end well, I should say. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens for sure. Besides so a secure vault in Fort Lucia, but the antechamber is outfitted with a heavy duty meta dampener. So But I do like that they that brought vault, him back. We need to cut the dampener's power first. So we're gonna need four specialists who take the generators offline. You mean four criminals? Well, can we take a beat? And find some other folks that can help us. There isn't time. Specialist. The DOD's running war games exercises uh, out by Masonville. It's the one night all of you yeah. will be understaffed and our best chance to make it. Tomato, inside. tomato. I know this plan is risky, but if we go it's back to the drawing kind of risky, now, but it'll be too late. You to got to pick the right ropes. Their operation to get it. A benefactor. Yep. Chester, can you run a computer? I was hoping that Allegra could actually help me on this. I don't want Keon to get lost. Yep, she's definitely avoiding. Started. Don't feel bad, Chester. It's not. So sorry about that. You. There's your she just doesn't want to have Spice that conversation yet. Hold the whip. Iced. Not hot this time. Sometimes I just get too carried away. <laughs> No, oh, he sounds so happy to be there. If I ever needed anything. Wow, okay, okay. Um, we need your meta powers to help save the city. Uh, oh, yeah. I hate this job. Let's do this. <laughs> that was easier. Said the done. Oh, they're coming you to him. Me. You won't help me bring Frost back. Mmm, yeah, nope, I knew that was going to be a touchy subject. Yeah, so you're looking for at the bottom of that glass. How's that working out for you? Oh. If it wasn't for you, I could have got Frost back. I don't even drink you alone right now, would I? I should kill you for one minute. What's stopping you, bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sure. don't pester him, partly. We need, we need you now more than ever. Come on, Mark. Frost would want you to help. One thing. I am not taking orders from him. <laughs> I don't blame you. Trust me. Okay. Trusting you? He just likes to make an entry. And who's the last rogue? We have. Well, well, well. It isn't my old friend, uh, just, or should I say, Officer Allen? You squealed on me now. I thought she was your soulmate. Two loves a lie. <laughs> Damn straight. Goldface's only sidekick is cold, hard, 
guy. He ain't some bleeding heart. Ain't it the truth? And he sure as hell doesn't stay up all night reading Dr. Zhivago, then sobbing when you're a Damn it, Carver! You're talking about the three that have been pulling tech heists all week. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, kind of, uh, someone's right watching. That's not good. Looks like Goldface has a few friends. Well, just like the boss thought. You'll find out soon enough. Okay. I was wondering if we would get to see Red Death before the end of the episode, because that's what we've been seeing is Red Death at the very end of each episode. But I love how he's recruited all the different rogues. <laughs> Supposed to believe that you can afford all this on a public servant salary? I mean, it's a good uh, thing that has been mentioned. Operation? Please, this is like a farmer's market. Can we settle this later? <laughs> yeah. This coming in the room. Exactly. I am. So if I could have everyone's attention, <laughs> your bar plays terrible music. You cost me more money than I can live. This guy was dead. Guys, okay. <laughs> this is going so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it really necessary to put so all sure the same person made all weapons? four of them oh, together? I am going to take five. Shouldn't this be about saving people, not <laughs> writing a story? CSI know how to open the vault and grab the engine. Oh yeah, that's right, because certain people don't know Any he's questions? the Flash. I can use my cut, but I don't through college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> probably a stretch for your offspring. Say that again, buddy. Okay. If anybody deserves that engine, it's me. Oh my god. I oh my god. Time. I've been after it. There he is, the guy who sold out the woman he loves. No, oh, this is not going well. You're a big mouth. Mm. Pretty too. But then there's no golden wings. Oh god, this no no, this is not going well. Sticking with you. Okay, we're all gonna stick together, which means I will be with all of you every step of the way. Oh, that's not gonna go well. You don't trust me either. Oh guys, this mission Barry. is too important to risk screwing up. Well then maybe you shouldn't be a part of it, Officer Mel. No. Pie, Viper, Hartley, what are you doing? We have to work together. Oh, we will. Really, Hartley? You. Jacko. Jacko. Sorry, Barry. If you can't trust us, we can't trust you. I'm really kind of hoping this is a play. Because Hartley's the one who brought it to Barry, and now he's turning against Barry. I'm I'm so confused. Yeah, but if they don't, the rogues are going to finish the treadmill, and then the whole timeline will be in jeopardy. And even if they do get it, they're going to try and yeah, do something with it. I'm just oh. sorry that once we become parents, that's what she's 
freaking out about. Okay. Before more comes that I might not get the chance. But except you do, cause when you're pregnant, don't you get pulled? When you're a mom, or else I cry about three hours of sleep. <laughs> I want you to have everything. Yeah, I want that for you too, Mary. I think it's easier said than done. I don't know, but but doesn't she end up with like Pulitzers or something like that like in the we're future? Time for us as a couple now, we'll also continue to help each other grow. Two Pulitzers, remember? Yeah. See, two Pulitzers. Maybe three. I need to give them a reason to trust me. Ooh, is he gonna tell them about <laughs> the fact that he's the Flash? So the Rogue's new toys resemble advanced prototypes being developed by the most revolutionary company in the game, Wayne Enterprises. Ooh. Yes, in Gotham City. Wayne. There it is. How would the benefactor get their hands on that? I don't know. But it looks like we need to call Gotham. Hello, Gotham. It's Iris. Every single gadget. Do I make you uncomfortable? No. Not at all. I did vote against you staying around, so... Makes it kind of awkward. Not for me. She's also in a different outfit. Do I mind you keep also saying I had to a big sister? And now I'm in this situation and I don't have anyone to talk about it with. Is it a situation with Chester? <laughs> yes. Because you were avoiding him earlier. I'll figure it out. I see. Yes. You're deaf, don't. See, I'm very oh, confused right now. <laughs> A daffodil seed. Has it been two days? Or. Because I only thought it was like one. Really? Not been now. Here's the DOD. Okay, I'm sorry. As long as he promises only to use it to keep his team safe. Yeah. And pays you all a quarter of a million each in compensation. Wow. What? You said you didn't need the money. <laughs> That's a fair trade. <laughs> Something's wrong in Denmark. Uh, we left the city hours ago. How are you able to catch up with us? And why do we need to disable meta dampeners so you can do forensics? <laughs> Come on. Even I figured it out. Barry Allen's The Flash. They have the same jitters order. <laughs> oh, so Kim, is that... Yeah, well... I see it now. Or is there anything to show you? Do you think it was your procedure? Just don't drop my engine. I'm gonna get in there. <laughs> it's too funny. How did they get those badges so fast? I guess they can think anything Let's possible. Like this match. <laughs> really? They all had to have <laughs> some sort of te tagline. I mean, catchphrase. Yeah. But they're gonna get Oh. The generator's back on. Ah. Now mine's still down. Same here. Who got the ball? Sorry, not sorry, Barry. Nah. You want the engine for yourself. It's from a benefactor. Why am I not surprised? Barry, I'm on my way. Oh, so he's now teamed up with Red Death. Say what? Oh. Game over, Barry Allen. Did not see that one coming. But I had a feeling that it was not going to end well with him. He was too pissed off with them. But to uh, 
work with Red Death? That's an interesting one. You do not know what it feels like to lose the only person who's ever loved you. Yes, it does. That wasn't so good. Finally, somebody was killing, huh? Now, Captain, it's gonna take more than a few toys to take me down. I got back, it's time to go. You're lucky I'm in a rush. Ooh! I mean, at least he's not up against the fiddler anymore. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, no, don't kill Hartley. They inspired my new favorite band, Nine Inch Nails. No way, that's my favorite band. What? I like your jacket. I like your. <laughs> this is. I like your what? <laughs> chain wallet. <laughs> what is this? Rodney Bull in one minute. It's a hustle. No. Hey. Oh! Oh, this is not good. Jacket, now. Yeah. No going anywhere. Okay, this is Rogue versus Rogue, and then the Flash. Ooh! Yeah, no, Red Death came in and helped them. You're like, who on earth is this? Yeah, he is so confused. But he definitely thought that was Thawne. But he is definitely confused. And darkness and decay. And the Red Death held illimitable dominion over all. Red ground, Thawne. Red Death. Story. Seven Ripplers on masquerade. Killed by the stranger in their midst. I need your help. Oh, is he? All of you. Barry. This is not what we signed up for. Well, but I have a son to keep safe in this town. So he's in. I guess if you need me, <laughs> fine. Always didn't like a good underdog story. <laughs> yeah, and if Central City gets leveled, you are out of business. I said I'd help. <laughs> I know who this guy is. Find out his weakness and call us. So the rogues are in. <laughs> I love it. It wasn't a bad idea after all. Look like a bat. Yeah. Barry, we have to talk to Chester. Oh, there, there it is. There so it is. I just got off the phone with them, but they have some drama of their own. A few weeks ago, Ryan Wilder went out on patrol. She never came back. Oh! We got a new speedster in a bat suit, and Batwoman is missing? Could that be a coincidence? Okay, so what do we do now? We find this new speedster. Oh! Can we stop it? So Batwoman's gone missing! Oh no, that's not good. Guess I'll take this little puppy with the flash then. Oh! No, you won't. Mm, 
give me what you said you would. No way to bring Frost back. After my mission is complete. That wasn't the deal. Yeah. You oh, should have. I am huh? uh, vengeance. Oh. Yeah, Mark's like, I don't want to be. He's, he's kind of regretting his choice now, but oof. So, okay, so I'm going back to what I said. I can't remember. If, yeah, it was, in, it was in the last episode. Uh, I couldn't remember if I said it in the first or the second, but yeah. And the second is, I knew she was playing Red Death. Because, uh, again, I saw it in an article, and they said there's a reason why they have her playing Red Death. And I didn't go into much more detail than that, so I, you know, left it at that. But like I said, I knew she, the actress, was playing Red Death, the one who plays Batwoman. So I wasn't sure if it was Batwoman or if she was like someone from the future, a different universe or something like that. But there's definitely a connection now, which I wasn't sure if they would do that, would make that connection to this to Batwoman. So I'm happy that I didn't know any of that other than the fact that the actress was playing... Um, the character. That's the extent. Uh, I, well, the other thing, which I think I have mentioned, is that the other thing that was mentioned is that they weren't going with what the comics had, and they were doing a different reason as to why Red Death is going after Barry, which again, didn't go into detail, not looking for spoilers, but that's the extent of the spoilers that I know, besides those that are coming back, which I try to... Sometimes it happens. I see it. It happens. Especially if it's like headline news going, this one's coming back. And it makes me happy, but I try not to really see why they're coming back or what their storyline is, so that way I'm surprised when I see it. Like, for some odd reason, I totally thought Diggle was supposed to be in this episode. But I guess not. Uh, so, so yeah. So, I, I'm very I, I'm glad that they made that connection between Batwoman and Red Death. I, in a sense. Also to the fact that, you know, they're bringing, in, bringing up Wayne Industries... So they, they've got a bit of a connection there, which I'm very excited about, and I'm very excited to see how this is, and whether or not we will actually see Batwoman on the series, but I, I definitely can't wait till we get into uh, Red Death's backstory, who, who she is, why she's going after Barry. Uh, also, did she go out, or, I mean, is she the Batwoman of their time, or, you know, Earth? Is she someone completely different? What happened to Batwoman? Where did she go? So it's like, what what's happening? I can't wait to find these things out. I'm really excited about this. Uh, it, and as I said, I knew this whole Mark thing was going to go wrong. I didn't think he would go to Team Red Death. I did not think that one. But now, like I said, I think he's kind of regretting that choice. <laughs> but it, And I love that Barry's like bringing in the rogues, you know, and asking for their help. Because, you know, he's come a long way and they've come a long way. So there's just a lot there. And I like it. Still not 100% sure I like Keon right now. She's st I'm still warming up to her, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and the whole Mark being like to 
Barry, you don't know what it's like to lose someone you love. Um, dude, he's been doing this. He lost his mother. He lost his father. He, he's nearly lost Iris multiple times. He actually watched Iris die in front of him. You know, <laughs> not long after they lost Frost. So yes, he got Iris back. But again, he watched her die because of him. So, yeah, you can't go pulling, you know what, you don't know what it's like. Like, no, dude, he knows what it's like. He has lost many people. He lost Frost, too, so, you just, yeah. Right, okay, so that was episode three. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. If you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction, please comment down below. I do post full episodes and early access on my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, bye guys.